rejoicing right now because all my children and One Life to Live are coming back to life online. Ooh. And yeah. here's a sneak preview of Erica Slezak as Vicky Lord, who's already caught up in the romance and scandal. Mm -hmm. Take a look. It is so beautiful. After all these years, I guess I know what you like. I guess you do. <laughs> so how has this beautiful day been going for you? Oh, well, my day could not be better, my darling. Could not be better. Please welcome One Life to Live's Erica Slazak. And now my children. Exciting. I can't even, I'm so proclaimed I can't even breathe right now. <laughs> but Erica, you played uh, the iconic Vicky Lord on One Life to Live for 40 years. You've won six, not one, not two, but six Emmys before it went off the air. So how are you feeling like, uh, how, what does it feel like to play her again? It's as if the time never passed. Really? Yeah, we all started uh, March 18th. We got to the studio and I thought, Oh, it's just been a long weekend. I mean, it, we fell back into it so easily. Everything is so similar. The yeah. stories are wonderful. The writing is wonderful. The production values are wonderful. It's terrific being back. Oh, that's so and awesome. it's close to my house. <laughs> <laughs> and I see, look, Whoopi moved over here to her friend, Torsten. <laughs> but you know what? I, I, I'm sorry. Go ahead, baby. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I was supposed to ask you about the, you know, the show ended on a cliffhanger last time, and we just didn't know, you know, with the gunshot in Pine Valley, and we didn't know if you guys were going to be picking up where it left off. Uh, no, we're, we're five years past that. Okay, so and you're not going to be picking up exactly where it left off. It's going to kind of be five years later. Yeah. Yes, but that, that moment definitely impacted everybody in the community over those five years, and we're going to see what the ramifications of that moment and now, were. And we pick up just a few months ahead. Okay. We're, we're pretty much in real time. They aged our young people up so that they could go to the nightclub and get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but they had to be 21 for that. Now, well, Vincent, you played Dr. David Hayward, a sometimes evil villain. Mm -hmm. And we actually have a sneak peek of your character from an wow. upcoming episode. Take a look. Scared. I've been behind bars five years for what happened to you. But now I'm back. And there's going to be hell to pay. Ooh, Dr. Hayward. It sounds like somebody was framed. Is you know, David going to get his revenge? Well, no, you can see he's the comic relief on the show. <laughs> right there, right. You know, I would just say this, that it, the five years that took place in between, bringing it up to the show right now, that it's a great launching off point for all of us. Mm. And it's going to be very exciting. The writing has been wonderful. And frankly, for me, coming back to do this character again has been nothing short of wonderful. Wow. You know, after a year and a half lapse and to get to do this character that I've loved so much, he's, he's truly one of the more rewarding characters I've ever had the opportunity to play. So I'm very grateful for well, that. Well, Torsten, yeah. darling, mm -hmm. <laughs> I hear that in the very first scene that they taped of the reboot, you're in the first thing. I'm, I'm the guy making a phone wow, call. Wow, really? Yeah, yeah. And I took this job because no one else would hire me. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Do, but do you look like you? I'd be, I'd better looking. All right. Better looking. Well, you hey. know, uh-huh. No, I, I need to say to my girl, you yes. know, I saw you last weekend because yes. you directed a movie. Yes. And I wasn't in it, which we need to talk about. Yes. But it's called? Mom's, Mom's Made yeah. Mom's He's on my documentary. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Yes. You know, yes. 
Erica, so now you're going to be online. The shows are going to be online, which means that there's no network censors, which means that you have a lot of leeway to, you know, go places. Can yeah. we expect something a little different than what we saw on TV? Yeah, a little bit looser. Yeah, you know, it's more conversational. Um, everything is a little bit more exposed. Not me, uh -huh. but definitely these two guys. These two yeah, there's a lot of no shirts. The whole thing is that now we're not daytime anymore. We are called anytime. Okay, so anytime. Right. Anytime, anytime is the right time. On right. Monday, 29th of April. Now, wait a minute now, Erica, now, Jenny J. Wow Farley from Jersey Shore, yes. and also Snoop Lion, you might have known him as Snoop Dogg, um, uh, they're making appearances on One Life to Live, and yeah. as a matter of fact, Snoop Lion even wrote the theme song yes, to the did. show. Yes, he did. It's yeah. delightful. Wow. Yeah. Is it delightful? It's absolutely delightful. Years ago, and Snoop was on the show. Sing it. Uh, everybody, sure. We all danced to it, actually. But years ago, he was on the show, and I wasn't on that day, and he used my dressing room. And when I came in the next day, there was a note from him, and it said, Miss Vicky, Snoop Dogg loves you. Aww. And I saved it, because I was so touched. <laughs> we are so excited. You are back. Thank you to Erica Slazak, Vincent Irizarry, and Torsten K. You can stream brand new episodes of All My Children and One Life to Live starting Monday on Hulu and iTunes. Yay! We'll be right back. Yay! Still ahead, we're showing you.